Hey gang, a friend of mine gave me the mullet drive to check out. So I thought, of course, it was going to be super mullety. Uh, it's not at all. It's actually a very dynamic and expensive sounding pedal. Uh, super well built. I mean, look at the insides. It's gorgeous. Let's put on our science glasses here for a minute and talk about this little light here, which is activated with this button. When it's yellow, the mullet drive is using asymmetrical clipping through a combination of MOSFETs and germanium diodes. When we go red, it's going full MOSFET symmetrical clipping. That's the one. Uh, so, it, you know, the red is supposed to be harder. I hear it as like woolier, but you know, we all hear things and just put these random words to it. So yellow is supposed to be more humbucker friendly. Red is supposed to be more single coil friendly. They just kind of both sound cool and you use them for what you want to use them for. So let's plug in and uh, take a little listen to the mullet drive from Stoll. I'm running through my Friedman BE100 into that 412 cab, mic'd up with a 57 and a Soyuz 1973. And uh, this is the raw signal, which is just like a cool raw. We'll throw on our mullet drive. Yeah, how about starting there? So I think the mullet drive part of the, the name is a little misleading uh, because it uh, doesn't sound like a mullet to me. It's expensive sounding and a mullet is sort of, uh, I'll keep my mullet opinions to myself, but it doesn't sound like a mullet to me. It sounds like an expensive, expensive espresso or something like that. Uh, we got two channels here. The manual hints that the yellow is designed for humbuckers and the red for single coils um, could be true because that yellow has a little more of that uh, cleanliness to a sort of big sound with a humbucker. <laughs>
it feels really good. It's just like, you know when you get into a fuzz face and you your notes just go, whoo. Uh, it does that, but it's not so fuzzy that it's a fuzz face. It's still sort of overdrive distortion. It doesn't throw out like a, a nasty upper mid range. Um, it's not so tight that it forces you to feel like you're playing uh, like 80s metal or anything. It's a really natural sounding, I don't know, expensive sounding overdrive to me. Let's do some single coil. This is my son's green machine, uh, and it's very single coily. Mm -hmm. 